Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. I just heard that Melinda can't stay until 5 p.m. Her son isn't feeling well, so she has to leave work early in order to get him from school. Would you be able to cover her duties? Sure, but can you be more specific about what I'll need to do? She is currently checking in gym members and answering phone calls at the main desk, so I'd like you to do that. Seeing as you used to be a receptionist at an advertising company, you should be able to handle everything. Well, I'm not very familiar with our registration system, but I'm sure I'll manage. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. It seems as if more people have been stopping by our store in recent weeks. That's probably because we've started selling albums that are hard to find on the internet. Yes, I think you're right. But we're still losing a lot of customers to online music retailers. To ensure that people keep coming, we should ask some regional bands and singers to appear here at our business. Funny you should suggest that. I've already reached out to several jazz and blues musicians in the area to see if they could come and sign autographs here. That's what many customers indicated they want in our satisfaction survey. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'd like to leave my car in this indoor parking lot for a couple of hours while I run some errands. My husband works at a dental clinic down the street and he gave me his parking pass. Can I use it here? Unfortunately, it looks like your husband's pass expired two days ago. You'll have to pay to use our space. Oh, okay. How does the payment process work? The fee for parking is $3.50 an hour. Here, I'll print a new ticket for you. When you leave, you can insert it into the machine located near the exit and pay using cash or credit card. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Tyler, have you read the quarterly sales report yet? No, I'm planning to look through it on Thursday. I have to fly to Seattle this afternoon for、um, a trade exhibition. And I won't be back until Wednesday evening. Why? Is there a problem? Actually, there is. Sales of the company's latest dishwasher model are much lower than expected. The CEO wants our team to develop some new marketing strategies and present them tomorrow morning. We don't have much time to prepare, so I could really use your assistance. I'll take a later flight then. This sounds important, and I don't want to let the team down. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I'm thinking of getting lunch at the cafeteria in our office building today. Do you want to join me? No, thanks. I ate there when I started working here, and the food wasn't very good. I would prefer to dine at a restaurant. Did you know that the food service company at our facility was changed last month in response to feedback from staff? Beatrice Dining now provides meals. I find their dishes to be delicious. I probably missed that piece of news while I was on vacation three weeks ago. In that case, I'd be happy to come along. Just let me finish writing this email message first. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation Walter, I need you to update the staff manual for our investment bank's stock market research software. Here's a copy of the current handbook. Thanks, but、uh, when does the document need to be completed? You'll have three days to work on it. Also, you should make revisions based on the version of the software that our IT workers are developing now. I asked the team to provide you with a list of changes to the program. Got it. But can I look at the manual in an electronic format instead of this printout? It will be easier for me to refer to that. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation My name is Stanley Coburn. When I logged into my library account today, I saw that I have an overdue book, but I never received a voicemail reminder about this. I'm a little upset about the situation. We switched to sending notices by email last month, Mr. Coburn. You should have received a message about the development. Really? I check my emails regularly, and I never received one. Maybe the library hasn't been using my correct email address. I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, here's what I can do. If you return the book today, you won't have to pay a late fee. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Before we wrap up this meeting, 
Let's talk about the position we need to fill in the bookkeeping department. After going through the applications, I think Cheryl Johnson looks promising. I agree. I was really impressed by her responses during the interview on Monday. What do you think, Dave? I don't know. She doesn't have much experience working in the financial field. It shouldn't be an issue, though. It's an entry level position. Right. She'll receive on the job training. That's a good point. I don't have any objections to hiring her then. Okay, but I should talk to the department head before making a final decision. I'll do that now. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Jasmine, did you hear that loud party in the apartment upstairs last night? Yeah, I had trouble sleeping because of it. I'm going to complain to the building management office. It's a national holiday, so the office is closed today. Are you serious? That means I'm going to lose more sleep this weekend. Well, you could put a note on the door of the apartment upstairs. I suppose I can try that first. Unit 74 is the one right above us, isn't it? I want to be sure I put the note on the proper door. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation Hi. I'd like to buy a watch as a gift for my assistant since he was really helpful while I was creating my latest clothing line. Certainly, our store has a number of great choices. For instance, this piece has a leather band and costs $145. I really like that, but it looks like the face on it is cracked. See here? Do you have any others in stock? If so, I'll take it. My apologies. Yes, let me grab another from our back room. By the way, I'd appreciate it if you could gift wrap it too. That'll save me the hassle of doing it myself. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Do you know why we're shutting down rides in the park an hour early tonight? There will be fireworks in the main plaza this evening. I didn't know about that. Did you, Amy? Sure did. This month, we're celebrating the first anniversary of our opening. As a result, there's a special event each week. The schedule is posted in the staff break room. Oh, odd. I never saw that throughout the week. I see. Well, it's in there. Okay, we'd better get back to work. Don't forget to place closing signs near the ride entrances in 20 minutes. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and employee directory. Josh, I heard you're staying late tonight to help with the marketing department's relocation to the fifth floor. Yeah, I'm setting up the computers. I was given this list detailing which desks I'm supposed to set up. However, it includes only 25 staff members despite there being 30 in the department. I need the rest of the information to finish the job. Why don't you call the five employees who aren't included in the list and ask which workstations they're moving to? I don't know their names, and our online directory doesn't include employees' departments. Well, everyone in marketing has an extension starting with nine. Just sort by extension number, and you'll be able to see everyone in that department. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and ticket. Are you going to the Eastville Food Festival, Priscilla? You bet. I bought my ticket today. I'm surprised they raised the prices this year, though. Fortunately, I belong to the World Culinary Organization, so I got a $5 discount. Members pay $10 for a one day pass. And $15 for a two day pass. Lucky you. Did you hear that they will be holding a cooking competition on Sunday afternoon? An announcement was added to the website yesterday. Apparently, several international chefs will be participating. Really? I'd love to watch that, but my parents are staying at my house from Sunday to Monday, and we already have arrangements then, so I'll have to skip it. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. It's time that we seriously consider adding more tables to our cafe. Our location has become quite popular this summer thanks to many new businesses opening in the area, and we've often had to turn away patrons. Yes, it'd definitely be better to have another seating area. But where should we set it up? I feel as though we're already making good use of the space. How do you feel about getting rid of one of the display cases and arranging tables to the left of the entrance? That might work. Let's try doing it tonight. I think there are extra tables in the basement that we can use.
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. May I speak with Ludie Tan? I'm trying to contact him on behalf of Oakland Roofing about a voicemail he left for us an hour ago. This is he. Thanks for the quick response. As I mentioned in my message, a small spot on my roof was damaged during last Friday's thunderstorm. One of your representatives came to my house yesterday. He said that the section near the chimney was in bad shape and would be costly to repair. However, he never emailed me a final quote like he said he would. I apologize about that, Mr. Tan. I'll contact the person who visited your home, get the quote, and then call you back shortly. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, this is Christy from the administrative team. Seeing as you began working in a new position last Wednesday, you should come to our office to replace your employee ID. OK, however, I can't stop by tomorrow because I'm attending a convention in Baton Rouge. Would sometime next Monday be possible? I'm afraid not. You're supposed to get a new ID before the end of the week, according to company policy. Hmm, I might be able to visit your office later this afternoon. Could I come at 4 p.m.? That should work. I have a meeting at 3 p.m., but it shouldn't last long. Why don't you give me a call at around 3.30 p.m. to make sure I'm available? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. We didn't order enough computers for the interns hired to work in the finance department. As of now, only 15 of them will be delivered next Monday. Although we need 20 devices, we have five used ones in the storage closet that we can reformat. Yeah, I thought we planned to use them, which is why I ordered as many as I did. Unfortunately, the finance director said that he wants all interns to get brand new devices. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'll call our supplier now and see if the existing order can be updated to include the extra machines. Thanks. And as we probably won't need those used computers anymore, please remove their serial numbers from the list of available devices when you have a chance. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. There you are, Alice. An accident has apparently occurred in the waiting area for office visitors. Someone knocked over a vase, and pieces of glass are all over the floor. I've got to deal with a leaking pipe on the fourth floor. So can you clean up that mess? Just grab a broom and dustpan from our maintenance office. Actually, I'm on my way home. My shift ended 20 minutes ago. Could you ask Ryan to do it instead? He's helping set up for this afternoon's press conference. The preparations are coming along slowly, so he probably can't break away from that now. I'll just take care of it myself. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'd like to book one of the barbecue areas near the community center's outdoor swimming pool. I want to use it for a party next Sunday. All right, you'll need to fill this out and pay a $100 security deposit. Um, sorry, but can I ask what the deposit is for? We need it in case you damage any of the equipment. It should be given back to you following an inspection of the area after your party. That's understandable. Oh, also, do you provide charcoal for the grill? We don't. There's a convenience store one block down Harvest Street. It should have some for sale. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm here to inquire about traveler's insurance for college students. I'm sorry. Our location doesn't offer insurance plans for students. Uh, did you mean to visit our branch near Northside Park? It's closer to Gregtown University, so they offer plans for students. I just got the address for your travel agency from a flyer. I found it at a local study abroad fair I attended recently. So, I wasn't aware you have multiple locations. Anyway, if you could give me the other branch's address, I'd appreciate it. Certainly. I'll write it down for you. Um, that branch is about a mile away, so you might want to get a taxi. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I connected with a factory in India that can manufacture our copiers affordably. The plant's owner has a strong relationship with a shipping company. 
He said he could get us a cost-effective rate to transport our goods to the United States. Excellent. And did you explain that I'd want to come to India to inspect the facility in person prior to making a decision? I'll need to evaluate its quality control process, as I've done for our partners in Mexico and Thailand in the past. I spoke with him about that via video conference yesterday, and it won't be an issue. He said you're welcome to travel there at your convenience. Okay. I'll have my assistant coordinate with him about dates. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. I just opened an office for my accounting firm at 209 Randall Drive in Kingfield, and I need my business's garbage and recycling to be picked up weekly. I'm contacting your trash collection company because it's very well reviewed on blogs. Thank you for your interest in TriStar Collection. Due to city zoning laws, however, we are prohibited from operating in the Kingfield neighbourhood. My apologies for the inconvenience. I recommend that you get in touch with Henderson Garbage as they are contracted to serve Kingfield. I recall reading positive comments about that business too, so I'll definitely contact them right away. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Kathy, do you have any more questions for Mr. Williams before we conclude his interview? Just one. While you provided your resume and cover letter, I didn't notice a letter of recommendation. Do you have one? Oh, yes. I thought I attached it to the other documents. But let me check my briefcase. Ah, here it is. I appreciate it. I think that will do it for me, Chris. In that case, we're done here, Mr. Williams. We'll send you the interview results by email no later than next Wednesday. I can walk you back to the main lobby now. Wonderful. Thanks for your assistance, and I look forward to hearing back from you. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and pie chart. Do you have a list of the computer codes associated with each color used in last month's flyer? They all appear on our intranet page after you click on Designs, so you can find them there. Are you working on a new membership advertisement? Yes. Our airline's focus for the previous promotion was to attract more basic level members, but now we want to promote the paid memberships, which provide better benefits to customers. Among those paid membership levels, we're specifically trying to improve the less popular of the two. I see. By the way, I developed a marketing research report on our competitors' paid membership programs. I can email you a copy of that if you think it will be useful. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and building directory. Thanks for showing me this laundry room. The fact that it is so modern is one more great feature of the apartment building. I'm glad you like it. I should also point out that the gym is just one floor above us now. Oh. Could we take a look at it? I'm sorry, but it's closed today because some new workout machines are being set up. Then what about the recreation room? I'm rather curious about that, too. I can take you there. But first, I need to run to my office quickly. My colleague just texted me saying he's having trouble printing out the application form for you to review. No problem. I'll wait here until you return. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and sign. Annika, I just received a memo from Donald Powell, uh, the head of maintenance. He said the parking areas in our industrial complex will be repainted. Okay, when will the work begin? Well, each parking area will be closed for one day next month. The research laboratory lot will be first, and then the factory lot will be painted on May 5th. The next day, the workers will paint the administration office lot, and they'll finish up with the warehouse lot on May 7th. Signs will be posted in the respective buildings for each lot on the days when the work will be carried out. Where can staff park on those days? Temporary passes for a nearby parking garage will be issued. I'll hand them out on May 1st. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. By the way, an employee from the State Sanitation Department will be coming here to our electronics production facility tomorrow. He will inspect the waste management equipment. It'd be nice if you could give me a hand making sure there aren't any known issues with the machinery. 
Yeah, but I'm busy at the moment with repairing our conveyor belt, as you told me to do this morning. Just let me know as soon as you're free. I want to take care of everything today, since we won't have much time to get ready tomorrow morning. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Sujin. I'm about to head to Forest Cafe to buy coffee for our team. Would you like something too? Yes, I love the seasonal espresso drinks sold there. The pumpkin latte. I think that one was discontinued. It was being offered in the fall only. The cafe is advertising winter drinks now. Too bad. Well, I'll just have a cappuccino then. All right. And you recently mentioned you're on a diet. So, should I ask if they can use low fat milk instead of regular milk? That'd be great. Thanks so much. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Our department is struggling to finalize the necessary financial reports for the upcoming shareholders meeting. I'm sorry to ask on short notice, but can you work on them over the weekend? I'll be out of town from Saturday through next Tuesday. I'm visiting Charleston for my sister's birthday party. You approved my leave last month. Oh, that's right. We've been so busy lately that I completely forgot. In that case, I'll have to ask someone else from your team to do it. Try checking with Catherine Dawkins. Just last week, she said that she'd be open to working more overtime as she's saving money to go to Europe. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Larry Bates. I ordered a textbook from your store two weeks ago, but it still hasn't arrived at my apartment. My order confirmation number is 42345. According to the tracking information, your book was delivered almost three days ago. However, the courier must not have brought it directly to your door since you didn't include a specific apartment number with the shipping information. Hmm. But I never saw the item by my complex's main door either. Why don't you talk to your building manager to find out whether the package is being held for you? Otherwise, you can get in touch with the courier service, Package Express. They may be able to help you. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation Hello, I have a mobile service plan through your organization, and I want to buy a new cell phone. I'd like to know if I qualify for any discounts. This month, customers can sell their phones to the store and put that money towards an upgrade. The deal applies to any newly released devices, including the Verso X3 and the Blade 4S. However, should you take advantage of this offer, the amount that you can receive depends on the condition of the phone you sell us. What a wonderful deal! Oh, and I was considering buying the Verso X3 anyway. Here's my device. I'm curious to know how much I can get for it. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. You're in charge of organizing tomorrow's architecture team gathering, correct? Yeah, I finalized all the activities that are going to take place. Those details will be included in the reminder email that I'll be sending to attendees before lunch. But why do you ask? Does anything need to be changed? Yes, actually. Helen's presentation on modern design is going to be longer than originally expected, so please allow her an extra 15 minutes. Also, Oliver will be unable to attend. He must give a consultation to an important client instead. So, we should remove him from the agenda entirely. No problem. I'll take care of those updates right now. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Sophia. Do you know what the procedure for securing vacation time at our company is? It was changed not too long ago. Let me check my manual. Are you hoping to take some days off? Yes, February 21st to 25th. Okay. Well, the handbook says you have to fill in a form on the Human Resources webpage. Two days later, you'll receive a notification indicating whether your supervisor has approved the request. Where exactly is the form posted on the page? Just click on the scheduling tab and you'll see it. However, several employees have already applied for time off toward the end of February, so it might not be approved. You should talk to your manager about this. Okay, I'll do that now. Thanks for your help. 
Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me, I'm hoping to learn more about your Chinese language classes, since many of my clients are based in China. Our course of business Chinese should be perfect for you. Oh, the instructor is coming down the hallway now. Jenny, can you provide some details about your class? Sure, we focus on expressions used in corporate settings. We meet twice weekly for two months, and the next course starts on June 2nd, this Friday. Hmm, two months. That'll be difficult for me, as I'm traveling to Hong Kong in July. In that case, there's another one starting in August. Yes, and you'll also be eligible for an advance registration discount if you enroll at our institute before July 10th. Great. I'll sign up for it now. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Now that the Evergreen project is over, let's begin our next assignment. You mean creating the advertisement for the furniture shop?、Uh, Redwood Home, right? Exactly. We first need to plan the concept for the TV commercial. Maybe we should concentrate on the business's selection of outdoor furniture. That's a good suggestion. Can you collaborate with Alyssa to put together a storyboard with that focus? Oh, Alyssa's at an off site training session all day today about, um, digital media. So I'll get started on that by myself and continue with her when she returns to the office tomorrow. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Martinez, it's Philip Gray calling from Kerman and Associates. Have you had a chance to review the revised contract we sent you last week? Our legal team is taking a look at it now, Mr. Gray. They've told me most of the contract looks satisfactory, but some small changes will need to be made to the section on licensing fees. That sounds great. By the way, I heard that your corporation's soft drink, Orange Light, Has become quite popular in Mexico ever since it was introduced this spring. Congratulations on the success thus far. Thank you. Yes, sales have definitely outperformed our expectations. We hope to make the most of the drink's popularity by continuing to expand distribution in the coming quarters. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. Ms. Lynch, I just checked the pharmacy's inventory, and we're running low on cough medicine. I'm not surprised. We're entering the flu season, and we've already had many people coming in to buy that. Should I contact the pharmaceutical manufacturers and place additional orders? Please do. Also, let's get extra pain relief drugs, since our supply of that needs to be replenished too. I meant to order more last week, but forgot to. I'll do that. And as for the pain relief medicine, I'll get the one with the lowest per pill cost, as customers seem to prefer that brand. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Thanks for calling Tuscan Sun Excursions. What can I help you with today? Do you offer guided tours of art galleries around the area? I'm hoping to view some during my four day trip here. Absolutely. Our art tour stops by the city's three major museums. It takes place twice daily and begins right outside our office on Truro Avenue. Oh, I'm actually hoping to browse smaller galleries. There's one at the intersection of Riviera Street and Fresco Road, um, just opposite the theatre downtown. Hmm, our company doesn't provide tours there, unfortunately. But I can give you the phone number of Complete Activities, another tourism firm in the area. They offer tours of those locations. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and label. This vending machine sells Dalton pretzels. They contain very little sugar and a lot of carbohydrates, so they're a great way to get a boost of energy. I'm going to buy some here in the terminal before we board our plane. Do you want a bag of them too? Although I'm getting a bit hungry, I'll pass. I've had those pretzels before. They're really tasty, but they include too much fat. I'm trying to be careful about what I eat at the moment. Oh, no worries. There are other options if you're interested. 
nuts and dried fruit snacks. That's okay. We'll be receiving lunch once we take off, so I should be fine until then. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mark. Our department head wants me to arrange the corporation's year end party. However, I'm not sure when it should be hosted. How about December 21st? Could you think about choosing another day? The 21st is when the Tampa Bay Hurricanes play s in the championship ice hockey game, and I know a lot of staff plan to watch that. Thanks for reminding me. Would December 22nd be better then? Definitely. Also, I can help out by sending a notice to fellow employees. So let me know once you settle on a specific time and the other details. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'd like to see the 8 p.m. screening of Voyage Across Australia. I'm sorry, but tickets for that and all other showtimes tonight have been sold out. You may book a seat for tomorrow night, however. I didn't realize the movie was that popular. I have to be at the office tomorrow night. Will the film still be playing at the theatre next week? Yes. In fact, Andy Baker, the director, will be present for a question and answer session following the screening next Wednesday at 3 30 pm. You can find out more information about that. By reading the flyer posted behind you. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. This is Clara Davis, and I'm having trouble with my laptop. Your shop did a fantastic job fixing it previously, so I'd like to hire you again. What's the issue this time, Ms. Davis? The screen keeps freezing, and the computer often restarts automatically. Well, that sounds like a software error, which isn't my area of expertise. My associate Robert specializes in those types of repairs. Would it be possible to bring your laptop to our office next Monday? He can work on it then. I'm going abroad for a real estate workshop on Sunday. I'd really like it running properly before then. Hmm. Let me transfer you to Robert now. I can't say whether he'll be able to fit you into his schedule sometime today. One moment, please. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation Did you hear about the policy change for business travel expenses? Employees will have to submit relevant receipts within at least three days following the end date of a trip. But that means I'll need to get the paperwork from my recent visit to our warehouse in Dubai in order by today. I won't have time for that. Don't worry, the rule doesn't take effect until the end of next month. That's a relief. Why is the policy being modified? The goal is to improve efficiency within the financial department. Makes sense. Last week, the head of the division was actually telling me how hard it is to track costs. When people aren't timely about turning in their receipts. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I checked out some novels here earlier today, and I may have left my wallet somewhere near the circulation desk. Has one been found recently? Not to my knowledge. However, I think you'd better visit our lost and found center just one floor up. Someone could have possibly picked it up and brought it there. I see. Also, I'm wondering if it's possible to borrow these DVDs without my library card. Unfortunately, my card was also in my wallet. Certainly. We have your account in our system, so I can go ahead and do that for you. May I ask for your account number? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. The sporting supplier, this is Wanda. What can I help you with? I'd like to ask about a tennis racket I found on your homepage, the Kendall Swift XE. I'm wondering if these rackets come with spare grips for the handle or if those would need to be purchased separately. All tennis rackets come with just one standard grip, but we offer a variety of other grips that absorb shock and reduce hand strain. Those can be added on for an extra charge. Okay. I'm interested in the shock absorbing types, so I'll take another look online this afternoon and see what specific options are available. Thanks.
Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Charlie. I'm having dinner with our investment consultant in Brownville in 30 minutes, but I forgot my day planner at the office. It contains the name and address of the restaurant we agreed to meet at, which I need. Yes, it's right here on your desk. Is it okay if I open it and find those details? Please do. Is there a sticky note attached to the page with the information for the meeting with Charles Grand? Indeed. It says that you have a table booked at El Toro Bistro on 45 Western Avenue. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for joining me as a special guest on my cooking show here at our broadcasting studio today, Wendy. I'm sure many of my TV viewers have been looking forward to this. No problem, Chef Hammond. So, what will you be creating with these ingredients? Well, since the theme of our program is Italian dishes, I'll demonstrate how to make spaghetti with cream sauce. Sounds delicious. Um, there are eggs mixed into the sauce, right? Oh, you're familiar with this dish? The recipe calls for two eggs, and here's something to keep in mind. It's important to lower the heat on the stovetop when adding the eggs so that they don't become scrambled. That's a fantastic tip. Should I add the cheese now? Yes, please. Meanwhile, I'll show our audience the differences between Italian and American-style bacon. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Kumiko, do you know where I can find a copy of the study our research department conducted on healthcare devices? I need data from it to make another report. I've got a printout of that in my file cabinet right here. By the way, are you going to the Heart and Lung Foundation's annual charity fundraiser on May 4th, or will you be too busy working on this project? I requested a deadline extension. I heard that there will be many industry professionals attending the fundraiser, so I don't want to miss it. It would be a great opportunity to network with them. Definitely. If you haven't registered yet, I can do it for you. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. You did a great job creating these charts about our export trends. Our team leader wants you to make a presentation on them at the Manila branch next week. That's great, but will I have enough time to secure a visa for business travel before then? It took longer than I anticipated to get one the last time I went abroad. I've already spoken with the head of human resources about that. He was informed by the embassy that the visa approval process can be completed in under a week. Okay. Then could you email me the presentation template you made for last week's audit meeting? I like the design of it and want to use it. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. This has been an excellent year for our company. Without a doubt. We've increased the number of job seekers who we have helped find work by almost 25%. What's more? We've established strong relationships with major employers. Yeah, consistent dealings with enterprises such as South Bend Corporation will be central to our success moving forward. Is it true that South Bend has contacted us again to find more engineering interns? That's right. Do you know the number of positions they need filled? Not exactly. I'm guessing five or six. What I do know is that the contract we signed gives us four weeks to find suitable applicants. That should be a comfortable amount of time to work with. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and coupon. Shane, the IT team was supposed to update the website yesterday to include information about our new Oceans Alive line of soap, but it hasn't been done yet. I forgot to tell you. They're going to finish this afternoon by, um, 3 p.m. at the latest. OK, I'll check it then. Is there anything that needs to be done for the product release event being held at Supersmart at the end of next month? Of our new products, the shampoo, hand soap and face cleanser are made of organic ingredients, but the body wash isn't. The current coupon must be modified to ensure it's valid for the entire line. 
Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and graph. Gina has the environmental assessment that Skylark Incorporated commissioned our research firm to conduct been completed? It has. I was in charge of carrying it out and everything went smoothly. Good. If I remember correctly, the company is concerned with rainfall levels. That's right. In four counties that it's considering constructing an amusement park. So, I assume you recommend that the firm build at the driest location of the ones analyzed. No, actually. That one isn't suitable since land costs there exceed Skylark's budget. As a result, we recommended the next best option. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Now that we've finished weeding the existing flower bed, the new rose bushes must be planted along the front of the customer's house. This task will take us a couple of hours at most to complete, so we'll be done with it by lunchtime. Okay, but before we unload the plants, holes need to be dug for the bushes. I'll pull our shovels and work gloves out of the truck. Could you also bring over the small cart? We'll use it to carry away the excess dirt. Oh, I didn't remember to pack that this morning. I'd better go get it from our company's shed. Sorry about that. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Welcome to Harvey Home Goods. How can I help you? Yes, I need hooks that adhere to the wall, not ones that are drilled in, to hang paintings in my apartment. Those are in aisle 13, which is where we keep hardware and fixtures. Is there anything else I can give you a hand locating? Thanks, but I'm pretty sure I remember where the other products I need are located. All right. Just in case you have trouble finding other products, there's a. Um, computer that you can use to search for store merchandise. The machine indicates where specific goods are shelved, as well as whether they're in stock. It's situated near the front doors. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Okay, Mr. Matson, you've now seen our renovated locker rooms, lobby, and concession area. What do you think so far? I must say, I'm glad I came here today to check out the renovations that were made to the stadium. It looks like the money I invested in this facility has been put to good use. The new court is especially impressive. The Hawks players must be very pleased with the results. Absolutely. In fact, many commented on how nice the court is after practicing on it two days ago. Now, if you follow me this way, I'll show you around the new luxury seating area. Which only VIP guests will be able to use for our home games. Questions forty-one through forty-three refer to the following conversation. Jackie, do you have a comprehensive list of our clients' email addresses? I seem to have lost mine. Not on hand, but why don't you look them up on our new online marketing database? Oh, I didn't realize that was possible. It is. A trainer from the IT department taught our team members how to get those types of details from the database during last Tuesday's workshop. The session sounds like it was very helpful. I wish I had made it, but I was in Richmond for the international advertising conference. Yeah, it was quite educational. If you want, I can tell you more about it during our break. Questions forty-four through forty-six refer to the following conversation. Thank you for setting aside some time to talk with me, Mr. Gabo. Now I'll explain why your retail outlet should stock the Dirt Duster vacuum cleaner. First, the Dirt Duster has a motor attached to the wheels, making it self-propelled. Plus, it can be used on hard surfaces as well as carpets. I don't know. We already have the Swift Clean, which works well on wood floors. But unlike the Swift Clean, the Dirt Duster is guaranteed not to leave scratches on any surfaces. Consumer polls indicate that people really appreciate this aspect of the vacuum. Well, I'd like you to demonstrate how the machine operates before I decide. You can use it on the floor in our staff kitchen, just down the hall. Questions forty-seven through forty-nine refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Look at this. Someone must have accidentally poured a beverage on the lobby sofa. Yeah, I see what you mean. It still looks pretty wet.
so it probably happened recently. We should let the hotel receptionist know so it can be dealt with. Okay, I'll tell them about it now while we wait for our rooms to be prepared for us. And could you ask them when the pool closes? I'd like to swim this evening before I head out for the music festival. Unfortunately, the singer we want to see starts performing at 8 30 p.m., just an hour from now. So I don't think we'll have time. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation Good morning, Michaela. Do you have all the information you'll need to make a notice for passengers about the subway system's new transit cards? I think so. But just to confirm, the cards will be able to hold up to $500 worth of credit, right? Correct. And funds can be added to them at the automated machines in each station. Riders can also put money on their cards by making an account on the Transportation Authority's website. Great. Is there anything else that we need to tell people about? The upcoming closure of Line 5 tomorrow from 10 a.m. until noon. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. I'll be sure to note it too. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation Good afternoon, Vincent. I want to let you know that Martin Marquez, the recently appointed manager of the Northeast District, is expected to come to our headquarters. The visit will give him an opportunity to acquaint himself with our CEO. He'll arrive on November 3rd, one month from now. Hasn't a consultant been hired to give a talk about productivity to some of our staff on that date? If so, it might be hard to fit everything into that schedule, as there will be many activities going on. I've actually requested that Mr. Marquez stop by on the same day so he can attend the lecture. I think he'd benefit from it because it will be targeted at middle management. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Jake and I have been asked to take five workers who are visiting from our partner corporation in Japan out next week, and we're struggling to think of something fun to do with them rather than simply dining at a fancy restaurant. How about renting a boat and taking them sailing for an evening? If you go around sunset, you can enjoy views of the Miami cityscape. That's a wonderful suggestion. But would our boss approve something so costly? It's more affordable than you'd expect. Boats can be rented from local businesses for as little as $1,200 a day. Our company has spent more than that on expensive meals for similarly sized groups. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation This is Grace from Yellowstone Apartments Management Office. May I speak to Jim Risen? This is Jim. Mr. Risen, you own a Blue Dent Razor with the license plate number 124FGA, right? If so, your car is blocking the garbage bins in the parking lot, which is an issue. I'm sorry about that. There were no vacant spaces in the lot when I returned home last night. I see. Well, since that isn't an authorized spot, I'll need you to move the car immediately, especially since trash is being collected today. Ah, I apologize. I'll be at work until 5 p.m., but I can move it afterward. In that case, I'm sorry to inform you that your car will have to be towed. That's the building policy. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. You've reached Frost Beauty, Adrian speaking. Hello. Will your salon's current special offer on beauty treatments continue throughout this month? We actually have sales on two services each month. For this month,、uh, April, we'll be discounting nail art and hair dyeing. Perfect. I bought a box of brown dye in March, but it didn't work well. So now I need my hair to be recolored. Can I make an appointment for 4 p.m. today? Yes. I should also mention that we'll have a booth at Denver's Professional Salon Expo on April 20th. There will be promotions on various hair and nail products that day, so you should come by. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. During Wednesday's hiking trip, let's rest and have a picnic lunch before reaching the observation point on Mount Evans. Great suggestion. I can swing by a convenience store and buy some snacks and soft drinks for us. 
I'll just do that on my way to meet you at Grove Station on Wednesday morning. Sounds good. I'll pack sandwiches too. How about having our picnic at a waterfall alongside Ridge Road? I recently heard that path is blocked off. Apparently, last week's storm knocked down some large trees on it that have yet to be cleared away. But there's another spot at the intersection of Breeze Road and Peak Road. I think it'll be comfortable there. Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation and email inbox. Hannah, did you end up ordering new jackets to be used in the photo shoot for our magazine's October issue? Yes, Raymond. They'll be delivered on August sixteenth. I also submitted a complaint about the shirts that arrived on August ninth. I mentioned that they had tears in them in an email to Nextwear's manager Ken Powers. He responded a few days later and attached a discount coupon. Nicely done. Oh, by the way, have you received an email from the photographer Linda Wright? She had a question about whether she can be compensated for the cost of her taxi ride to the shoot location. I replied to that right after this morning's press conference regarding our October edition.